Will artificial intelligence replace programmers? That is a question that has haunted me for a couple of years now. And to be honest, I neglected using these AI tools for a long time. I didn't use ChatGPT. Uh, when did ChatGPT come out? I didn't use ChatGPT until uh, about a year ago. And let me tell you, and I've tried several different ones. I tried ChatGPT, of course. I've tried Find, Amazon Q, Claude, and some other ones that I've tried. And the one thing that I've noticed about all of those is that they can get close a lot of the times, but they can never be 100% accurate all the time. And as you know, as a developer, that it's those tiny little details that will ruin your day. The dangerous part is that it can offer what looks like correct code. It's correct looking code, but it's not actually correct. It might be laden with a bunch of different errors and, and bugs and stuff and, and things in there that, that take the trained sharp eye of a software engineer to actually discover. So if you just blindly copy and paste what, what ChatGPT has given you, you can be introducing errors, you can be introducing security vulnerabilities and all kinds of different things. You see, these models don't actually know how to write code. These models are somewhat akin to someone who has memorized all of their multiplication tables, but doesn't actually know how to do multiplication. Because all it's doing is trying to guess what is the next best response to this question. And that could be right, it could be wrong, it could be totally made up language. Uh, because it's just stringing together one word after another. And that information in there may be wrong, and in fact, a lot of times it is. So you still need the keen eye of an experienced developer to be successful using these tools. And I think that's exactly how we should be looking at this. This is not something that's gonna replace us. This is something that's going to augment our abilities. It's gonna take over a lot of those mundane, repetitive tasks, and it's gonna allow us to focus on the really important, complex, and unique problems that actually, I think, attract most developers into, into coding in the first place. It's those really unique, novel problems you know, that this type of career attracts. So what's my opinion? I don't think that AI is going to replace us. I think that it will augment us and I think that we're gonna evolve alongside of these AI models. I think that we are going to grow and evolve with it. And I think that the software engineering position will change, but you know, it's changed just since I began five years ago. I don't do the same things day to day that I did five years ago. You know, it just comes with the territory. And the other thing is that it's not just software engineering. There are plenty of other, I mean, every other industry is affected by these, tool, these tools as well. So all of these other careers, all of these different industries are affected and their roles are changing too. I don't know why specifically software engineering has become the pinpoint and the focus of this discussion, but I think that there are other careers that are more at risk than software engineering is because it, because the AI models are built using software. So at the very least, we'll have AI jobs. So things will change. We have no idea how the introduction to these AI language models, how that is going to affect the world. We have no idea. It's going to make changes all over the world. And but I think that my advice is ride the wave. It's gonna do nothing right now but increase your product productivity. It's gonna make the development experience a lot smoother and a lot more enjoyable. And honestly, I think this is kind of a golden era of software engineering. But that's just how I feel about it. What do you think? Leave that down in the comment section. And if you like the video, give it a like. And if you wanna hear more discussions on topics like this and other uh, tech career and tech industry topics as well as coding tutorials, then consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you on the next video.